Hi everyone, it's Tim Wilde here and um, I'm reporting in from Storm Brian this morning. Apparently it's um, we've got a storm moving into the south of England and um, as far as I can tell it's just a little bit windy here, it's October. So, But if I do get hit by a trampoline at all during the course of this YouTube video, that, that that's why. So right, it's um, been a little while since I recorded my last video and this morning I want to talk about the Soul Star Chakra which is prominently a very, very important part of our 12 chakra system. It is a, is a chakra that you are using every single day. Um, and that means on, on an ascension level, it is feeding your ascension blueprint and allowing you to reactivate what we, what we call, or what I call an, an ascended master blueprint or your Atlantean blueprint, which is if you explain it to somebody who asks the question what is an Atlantean blueprint, what is, an, what is your ascension blueprint, it's a little bit like making a pair of shoes 12,000 years ago uh, that fit you really really well and putting them away in a box and breaking them out when you're ready to actually wear the shoes. Now that is pretty much what we're doing. So this Atlantean blueprint, this Ascended Master blueprint, it is accessed via your Soul Star Chakra. Now for those of you that have worked with me via my um, meditations and videos before, the Soul Star is located here. Okay, you've got your Stellar Gateway, roughly where the tips of your fingers are, then you've got the Soul Star, and then you've got the Causal which rests just above your crown. Now my Soul Star was, it was um, it was very much part of my wake up in 2008 when I was given back my blue star seal by Archangel Michael. Didn't realise it at the time but when he activated the blue star seal within my soul star chakra and I was then surrounded by this amazing field of energy, he had literally reached in and retrieved this artefact, this piece of ascension energy which I'd, been, I'd placed away for myself. So. All of you, at the moment, whether you realise it or not, are working from this blueprint that is coming through via your Soul Star Chakra. Now, what has kind of come to my attention, which is also very, very interesting about this Chakra, is the fact that it is also the gateway to the Halls of Amenti. Now, the Halls of Amenti are a vast cosmic library. Some of you may have heard of it, some of you may have not. And quite often it is confused with the Akashic Records. Now the Akashic Records and the Halls of Amenti are two totally different things. The Halls of Amenti are a cosmic library that literally span all the way back to source, like right the way to the top of the 12th dimension. And they contain all of the information that every single soul in any dimension has placed within it throughout any corners of the galaxy. So it doesn't matter where you are, doesn't matter what dimensional planet that you live on, the Halls of Amenti are where your information at the end of your particular span or cycle is placed and then it, it, it turns into a kind of a universal pool that everybody has access to. So this vast cosmic library um, contains all of your personal information from your previous lives and this can be any life, any point, at any time, in any dimensional space, in any universe. Whereas the Akashic Records are specifically for Earth lives. Since Earth began physically and people started having <coughs> incarnations on this planet, the Akashic Records was used specifically to register and document th those lifetimes. So they can contain any information, any, any part of your existences here on Earth. So they're very, very different. People who access the Akashic Records are generally dipping into whatever they can reach at their, their particular level of vibration. Whereas if you're accessing the Halls of Amenti, you're accessing your mastery blueprints, you're taking it right up a notch to the point where you know you are now feeding your current ascension process. So working with the Soul Star is very very easy. It's a process of sitting back, being quiet, tuning into your chakra system as, as we've done before. So 
you can be anywhere you can you can be in you can be out in nature like I choose to be or you can be in your own sacred space or you can even be doing it consciously walking around like like many of us do nowadays we're 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 walking we're we're interacting we're doing the things that we normally do but we're consciously aware of the energy and the and our state of being and our and and the radiance that we are producing so I always like to tune into my soul star. I see it as this beautiful magenta light, you know, about a foot above the top of my head, about a foot to 18 inches. And when I work with it, I look into it as if it is a corridor. So, say you're tuning into, you're sat quietly, you're meditating, you're tuning into your soul star chakra. I look into it and down this enormous corridor that, that stretches as far as you can see, there are golden doorways lining it all the way down both sides and these doorways these golden doorways are the doorways to your past lives your master incarnations and all of these doorways contain sacred information and knowledge that you have placed away now there is usually one or two or maybe even three kind of very prominent very active doorways kind of operating simultaneously and um, some of you may even have more um, in my experience in working with people I found that if you sometimes have too many doorways open then you can you can kind of get pretty deluged with with um, information from past lives stuff that's coming in simultaneously and and it can get um, it can get a little bit kind of overwhelming. So what I tend to do is work with sort of, oh, beautiful, it's raining now. Uh, I, did, I did say the last time that we'd be, I'd be running from a wet gear, but I'm not gonna get the chance now. So let, let's just crack on with it. So with these master doorways, with these, with these past lives, they, you know, nothing goes to waste. Everything gets placed where it needs to be and then we have the opportunity to access it. And that is very, very much what is going on at the moment. People aren't necessarily aware that they're doing this. This is a natural course. This is a natural part of our evolution, is to reclaim our spiritual heritage, our light, our knowledge, our information. But if you're doing it with it, the power of intention, if this is your point of focus, then it becomes exceptionally powerful and you start to embody this on a very, very rapid basis. Now I'd like to do an exercise this morning to take us to the Halls of Amenti. Now these have been mentioned in many, in many spaces, in many times. You'll have read about them in the Emerald Tablets or you would have heard about them or I, I may have mentioned them previously. But I wrote an exercise <coughs> a while back that takes us to the Halls of Amenti specifically. It's, you know, it's about five minutes long, but it's a deep visualization and it will trigger that activation, that part of your reconnection with it. So just wherever you are, you can, you can listen to this now or you can listen to it later in, in your sacred space. Just focus on going to the Halls of Amenti, set your intention to visit the Halls of Amenti and choose a space where you'll be undisturbed and if you're relaxing in your own space light a candle, I love to light a candle to actually hold the energy to bring that light, bring that brightness in and just breathe and completely relax, let your energy centre, let yourself settle into this meditation and then call to the legions of Anubis to seal your sacred space for you and guide you to the entrance of Amenti. And the legions of Anubis are very like the legions of Archangel Michael, they're like the fire dragons, they've been protecting people, sacred information and this earth for a very, very long time. So just allow them to join you and feel their light, their energy and their power by you. And you are standing now by the gates, the entrances to Amenti, and state your intention to enter. And feel the golden resonance flowing from this sacred space. It is truly amazing. And as the gateways open, walk through with your sentinel companions. 
And waiting on the other side is a golden angel. And this is your guardian angel who's been working with you and the progress of your soul since time began. And your angel is now leading you down a vast tunnel lit with torches of liquid gold. And on the edges of this tunnel you can see ancient symbols and ancient symbols of love that are adorning the walls and some of them may seem familiar to you. this doorway at the end. It's a conscious process and feel your light from your hand flowing into the doorway. And the doorway will swing open. So step inside your room now and inside is a vast space filled with the achievements of many lifetimes. You will have records that span every incarnation the universe. Inside your room <clears throat> there is a box and this is a box with your current name on it. So just take a few moments, open the box and inside it is a gift that you have left for yourself for your current place on the ascension pathway. Just take a few moments to see what it is, what is your gift, what are you giving yourself? And just absorbing the power from this incredible gift, with the help of your angel, place it within your heart centre. Just take a few moments to absorb this into every cell of your body, your physical, your mental, your emotional and your spiritual self and feel your heart chakra opening the widest, as wide as it has ever been. And you may want to take a few moments also to just have a look around your room. You know, this is, this, is, this is yours, this is your master information, this is your room filled with all of the light and the knowledge that you have placed away. And you may want to take anything else that appears familiar to you. So just place that within your heart as well, absorb it into your body and feel so you just you carry it physically. And when you are ready, leave your room in a menti. And just remember that you can return here at any time that you wish. And walking back now along your corridor, just taking a note of the symbols, just remember to thank your angel and the sentinels of Anubis. And just start returning to your sacred space again. Bring yourself back to your body. Just feel yourself grounding into your fifth dimensional reality back here on Earth. And then when you are ready, open your eyes. And return to where you are. Now that gift, what you have retrieved, will be a very important part of your ascension process. That is something you have placed away for yourself and you will not have seen it for a very, very long time. Now, as you can see, uh, so I, should, I, shouldn't have said that, I shouldn't have said that about Storm Brian, should I? I've just had a, a, a good couple of kilos of rain dumped on me. So I'm gonna send you lots of love and I will see you all very, very soon. Bye-bye.